Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is February 4th, 2023, Anchorage, Alaska. Just last week ago, we had a building where the roof collided due to a amount of snowfall and ice uh, resulting in one person uh, passing, uh, one person fatal and two other um, person um, in critical condition. And that was last week. I don't have an update for you guys yet. Uh, maybe this week I'll go by that area and check it out and see what they have done as far as what they did to the building or demolish it. And I also don't have an update on the two person that are were critical and injured. Um, hopefully they are recovering fine. But today is February 4th, about 16 hours ago, early this morning around 2 a.m., another building right here in Anchorage just collapsed. Thankfully, it was not during business hour and no one was inside of this building. Um, so thankfully, there was no injury. But this building is located right here on 6th Avenue in Angra. And it's more like a, um, um, it's more like a clothing store. It's a, it's a small clothing store, but I think next to it, they also have like a donation center as far as what they have there. Um, but I know that this building here has a, it has the same thing, flat level surface. And I'm looking at it right now, man. Nobody can survive this. It's like crush. So I'm going to take you guys outside and show you guys um, the results. Like I said, it happened early this morning. Looks like Derry went ahead and fenced it off and put some uh, caution tape. But there's no one here working on it right now. So maybe they're still um, just debating on what they're going to do, whether they're going to clear it up or not. Now, this is a stretch of building that has multiple business. I think two or three business and only one side of it has collapsed. So without further ado, let's go take a look. And again, this on this is on 6th Avenue in Angra just as um just as when you're heading out of downtown. So if you're heading out of downtown, you can't miss it. It's right here at the corner. Very busy intersection. But again, thankfully it happened last night during the off hour and no one was injured. So that's all that matters. I'm currently right here across the street, which is at the Chevron. This right here is 6th Avenue, heading northbound out of downtown. And right across this building is where the building happened. This building right here. Now this is uh, 6th and Engra. Very, very crazy to see this happen. And maybe we'll go on, uh, maybe we'll go on this side over here. Now, this is a donation slash clothing store <clears throat> and wow take a look at that guys this is worse than the building that happened on 76 and Osewer. <clears throat> the one on 76 and Osewer doesn't look as bad as this one but you can see here from this end to that end that's about not quite half of the whole building yet but quarter of it and man it is just right it just went right into a pancake mode that is crazy <coughs> so you can see right here it's the building uh fashion pack uh, it's a resale boutique store donation and like i said man thankfully <coughs> nobody was in there that is crazy i don't know what they're gonna do yet they might send some, uh, it is a Saturday, so I'm pretty sure a lot of contractors are off right now or not working on Saturdays, but maybe this Monday they'll send out inspectors and people to come check it out. And uh, obviously the obviously we know what the cause is. I mean, it's definitely snow. <coughs> snow had to play a factor on it. Snow and uh, just the weight of it. So let's go take a look. We're not gonna go inside or anything. We're at a safe distance here. Man, look at all the clothes. <coughs> you guys can still see the clothes. Oh man, this is so sad for the business owner. But look at that building, man. <coughs> I'm not a carpenter, so I don't know the uh, terms, but you can look at the beams, uh, the two by six and the beams. You see how they stack it up right there? <coughs> That's crazy, man. <coughs> man, what a sad day. All the merchandise are still inside. 
Wow, look at all the snow too. Look at the roof itself. That's like about a foot of snow. And again, I'm pretty sure there's uh, ice in it too. It's crazy because after that first, <laughs> after that first uh, incident of that building, that 76 in Old Sewer, <coughs> after that happened and you know the news went on, um, the whole area, the Anchorage knew about it. Um, I saw like a lot of business started uh, after that day. I saw a lot of business started scooping their snow off the roof, and a lot of the coffee espresso. I saw a lot of the coffee espresso started removing their snow too because um, those coffee espresso they might not have the strongest roof to support any snow. But that's some, that's like a wake up wake up call. And <clears throat> right now, you know, <clears throat> right now it's February. Uh, we don't expect any more snow. We don't expect any more uh, snowfall and all that stuff. You know, everyone's looking to spring season, so a lot of people are. A lot of people have the mentality that, oh, you know, there's no more, there's no need to go scoop the snow. It's gonna melt already because, you know, the winter season is almost over. A lot of people have that mentality, but right now, <coughs> that's not a good mentality because a lot of the snow, <coughs> once the weather gets warm and let's say, it gets wet and let's say at nighttime it refreezes, it becomes ice and that's where it give, it gets even worse. So let me see if we can go over here. So if you guys have any, <coughs> if you guys have any, uh, any doubt that your business might collapse, you might want to get out there and, uh, and get the shovel going, man. Look at all the clothes right here, man. I feel bad. I feel like somebody's going to come by and start picking these clothes up because it's right here in downtown. Yeah. Look at all the clothes, all the shoes. so sad because this is a small business owner you know this is a small boutique resale a lot of this stuff is donated so it's not like this is a business that has like tons of money so it's really gonna hurt them but hopefully they can recover that's it right there guys yeah forgot to wear my high-vis vest I'll, I'll, I'll look more official but it's all good so let's go take a look at over here it, look, it doesn't look safe over here as well <coughs> so it looks like this is a community center over here they have they do have signs on the doors unsafe to enter <coughs> let's go over here looks like this is might be like the back parking but look at all that snow, man. Just so much snow. <coughs> and again, they have it all blocked off the alleyway. This building here is a concrete building, so maybe that's a little bit more stronger. But the one that's been affected is this building right here. You can see right there about a foot of snow. And like I said, man, a foot of snow is heavy. When it comes to snow, man, snow is heavy. So very sad day to see this happen, but like I say, um, this kind of stuff can be replaced. Hopefully insurance covers it. As long as there was no life that was taken from this incident this time. <coughs> so if you're watching this video and you're a business owner in Anchorage or in Alaska in general, uh, go check your roof out, man. And even people that have houses, man, check your houses. If you live in an apartment or whatever and you feel like, hey, the roof is going crazy, Call your landlord, man. But hey, man, I don't feel safe in this building. Can you get the snow off? Because this is very, very dangerous. So that's it for you guys. I'll keep you guys updated in the next week or so. If they start doing any kind of demolish, most likely they're going to start demolishing it. Or eventually they will have to. Um, because I don't think it's repairable. They might just demolish the whole building and build something new here. So that's it for you guys. Uh, and again, February 4th, 2023, maybe we'll come back in the next uh, week or so and give you guys an update. And um, hopefully this week I have some time and I'll go down to the other building, the, on the one on 76, and give you guys an update on that as well. But this is on the 6th Avenue in Ingra. This just happened today, early this morning.